I just realized I never made a video about this. So there are two important things that you need to do. One is connect your Discord to your Twitch or your Twitch to your Discord. Anyways, you want to go down here on user settings, then find the tab that says connection. Up top here, you'll see add accounts to your profile and you can even click on that little arrow here to view more. And this is where you'll find Twitch. When you click on it, it's going to open a browser tab asking you to authorize Discord to be connected to your Twitch. All you have to do is click authorize and technically you're good. Now, when you come back to Discord, you should see your Twitch channel displayed here as part of the connected profiles. So that was the first thing, connecting your Discord to your Twitch. What is the second thing? Now, streamer mode is basically a setting in Discord that will protect like personal information and things like that in case you are live streaming and you accidentally show your Discord. Usually, as soon as you open your broadcasting software, such as OBS Studio, it will activate it. But if it doesn't, you can find streamer mode right here in the options. Just click on that. And then here we have the additional options that go with it. First of all, activating it. And then here we see the option about automatically enabling and disabling it. So if OBS or XSplit are running on this computer, it will turn on streamer mode. You can also choose which personal information it will hide, like invite links, sounds, notifications. And you can also hide Discord from screen capture, which I've never tested. So what happens if I click on this? Whoa. Okay, that's kind of trippy. <laughs> All right, so there are two extra options to check just in case it's not working properly after those two steps. And the first one is activity privacy that you can find down here. It's that little option that usually shows which game you're currently playing. If you turn that off, sometimes it will also not show that you're live streaming. And the last one you need to check is uh, by clicking on your name here and making sure you appear online. Sometimes you put it on invisible and you forget about it. And then you're surprised that no one saw that you were live streaming. Okay, so once you have all that set up, uh, your status will basically appear like this. Your stream title will appear here as well as your stream game, basically, whatever game you're streaming. You can see this person is streaming right here. I'm still on streamer mode, so it's not showing their full names. Uh, this person is streaming, this person here, and this person there, and uh, that person there. Anyways, you get the point. This is not my server, by the way. Don't ask me what's my server. I don't have a server. I don't have a public server, at least. I tried that. It was awful. Not doing it again. Not anytime soon. Uh, also, follow me on Twitch. I stream. Uh, rarely, but I stream. <laughs> so check me out over there. Thank you for watching.